I'm Thomas Rivera, the chair of the Data Protection and Privacy Committee. I think from here on in, we'll just refer to it as DPPC. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, obviously, the, the majority of the work that we do in this specific committee, as the name implies, is around data protection and privacy um, and a bunch of things that we're working on. Some of the things at the bottom here that we're working on are some of the what is pages. For example, uh, mirroring is, is one of the things we're working on right now. Um, probably the biggest activity that we're currently working on is the, the second to the last bullet here, which is the update to the white paper for uh, data pr protection best practices. This is actually a, a refresh of that white paper. It was originally published in 2017. And then we're also looking to kick off kick off an archive survey, which again would be another uh, item that uh, is a survey that uh, related to archive that actually took place already, but uh, this would be a, a refresh of that survey as well. And we'd be working with uh, uh, the another group on on that one that was really interested in that in that uh, type of survey uh, getting out there. Um, so. As I mentioned, the what is pages, there's a couple that we're working on, erasure coding, things like storage sanitization. Uh, those are pages that are referenced through the um, through the website um, that tend to get a lot of hits. Uh, the, some of the ongoing work that we're doing is a cross-group collaboration with some of the technical working groups. Um, and I think Eric Hibbert had mentioned that we do work very closely with the security twig. Um, and uh, we use that collaboration to, as a mean, excuse me, as a means to uh, provide input to a, a lot of the key standards that are that are being worked on, uh, which those standards had, had already been discussed on the uh, previous uh, security twig presentation. In terms of external group collaboration. Um, and we do have representation in our from our committee on the Cybersecurity and Privacy Standards Committee through in IEEE, and there's some interesting work going on in there. Th things like uh, zero trust and some other work, like the se security and storage twig, is working on, as Eric mentioned, the sanitization uh, white paper. Uh, I'm sorry, the sanitization uh, uh, ISO standard, which actually. Um, was recently uh, published. So some of the members, uh, I think what we do is we list here all of the stated members from a, a corporate perspective, the company members of SNEA. From an active uh, membership standpoint, those listed here below the company names are the ones, the folks that are active on our uh, weekly calls. We do have a weekly call that that takes place on Thursdays. And that call, call takes place at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. And uh, interested, uh, if we have any questions, we'd be glad to answer questions. The way to, to reach me is at the very bottom, uh, dpc-gb-chair at snea.org. Thank you for the for the time today. Oh, sorry, there's a little bit more. <laughs> Industry impact. So obviously some of the things that we're doing um, in terms of international standards that we are able to collaborate with, talking about some of the legislation that's going on from a privacy privacy perspective, we've done some interesting um, Bright Talk webinars on, on some of that stuff. Uh, since that's constantly changing, not just in the U.S., but also some global privacy initiatives and legislation that has already been done, but there's always some updates to those as well, all the way from GDPR to in, in the states. Um, it started with the, the California Privacy Act, but many other states are now uh, implementing legislation for the respective states within the US as well. So we follow that fairly closely. Um, then some of the segment relevance, uh, this was also mentioned on the security twig, the, certainly the, um, 27,040, which is an ISO standard that has to do with storage security. As mentioned, we actually 
work pretty closely in, in providing comments uh, and updates for that. The, the second bullet there in the uh, industry segment relevance is the 2883, which has to do with the media sanitization, which was talked about earlier. And then interestingly enough that 44% of the CEOs responded to uh, that responded to the rank of data privacy uh, mentioned that uh, of the top three, that data privacy is of the top three uh, policies most impactful to their business, which is kind of an interesting statistic. So for those that um, want to join, why should you join? Uh, the the so sub-bullets are, are sort of what the majority of what we do. The data privacy legislation is what we tend to uh, follow fairly closely. Well, and, and we do do updates on that from a, a Bright Talk perspective in terms of doing webinars. We've had some interesting speakers uh, on those panel discussions in the past, including lawyers that are, are dealing with data privacy legislation. Um, and then cybersecurity as it relates to storage, some of those areas, we did some interesting work on ransomware and data protection strategies. We did a uh, a, a webinar last year um, at one of the SNEA conferences uh, that dealt with that. And um, if there's any questions or comments, um, our facilitator, facilitator for the DPPC is Tom Mancuso and, and Tom's email address is there and he can be reached for, for questions or comments as well.